In this video, I'm going to show the adjustments that you can do on your Mead Micro Focuser. Now this Micro Focuser I modified with a ZWO uh, EAF automatic focuser so I could obtain autofocus during imaging sessions. In the paperwork on this Mead Micro Focuser they talk about the adjustment should be done by a technical person. Well, you really don't know how you can adjust it. The problem is sometimes the weight of the imaging items that you have to use, spacers, rings, and uh, maybe a diagonal mirror uh, add weight. So as the telescope slews, especially when it goes in the upward position, uh, you could have slippage in the imaging train, being that the ring here comes in and out and slips, and I've had that happen. So <clears throat> to show what you can do is I'm pushing on it, and you can see it coming out like that and you can push it back in now underneath it this screw right here you can take out and you can push out the whole train and uh, look in there and you can see that the the ball bearings here are the items that put pressure on the tube that's in there to keep it uh, to give it friction so you look at this and you got some screws up here but I don't think those maybe adjust the the tension on it to give you friction but these do and what I found out is you just you, you can tighten these down these screws right there just a little and it really puts some friction on the tube and of course you have to have an allen wrench to do that so that's one way to maybe stop the slippage is giving a little more friction on the tube here but not too much where your electric focuser won't have it go in and out now on this focuser right here what I normally do is when I'm imaging at night I make sure it's zeroed out I tell the focuser in the settings to go to zero and if it's not at zero then I push it where it is zero and during the night when I get ready to focus I'll have the focuser go to the halfway setting on this camera uh, on this setup here it's it's 2200 and which moves the the item in here about halfway out so at that point I do a manual focus with the focus knob on the telescope to get it what I call eyeball pinpoint stars and then I let it do a let the automatic focuser do a uh, automatic focus routine to get them better so that's how you might could tighten up your focus tube so it won't be slipping on you. Hope this helps somebody else out because I couldn't find a video on how to do that. Clear skies, y'all.